gentlemen, name's Groovy. Groovy OMD, you folks here on YouTube. And the OM stands for on mixer because, well, stream on mixer. Today I'll be showing you how to save processing power on your CPU through OBS Studio by utilizing a browser source through player.me. Whether you have a low end CPU or just want to cut back on your higher grade processing unit, this method will help achieve your goal of cutting back without compromising quality. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to player.me and create an account by logging in through your streaming platform. Now note player.me utilizes its pre-built overlays through Strixum and are completely optional. You can choose to do your own custom overlays. I at the moment am using Strixum's Tainted Steel overlay and for the sake of time we'll be using a pre-built overlay. To have your account created you want to go to overlays over here and you want to add an overlay. You can add your intermission, you can add start but primarily for this video we're going to focus on in-game and obviously you click over here if you have your own custom overlay you choose to upload your in-game uh, just choose the first one choose which platform then you're going to want to click edit so it already has this kind of look that uh, they choose this outline they choose to use for this um, so you can change these things around and grab them move them um, over here turning on advanced mode that is how you do like fine details okay that's something you're going to want to eventually do um, but once you choose your overlay for the sake of the video I'll go ahead and turn on advanced mode Okay, the advanced mode will let you go in and separate things, move them around, move little words around. Okay, it'll have your alerts, tip alert, recent or top tip label. My bad, where's the alerts at? Right here. Okay, but at the moment it only has a tip alert. Okay, come over here to add a widget. Okay, you can add text, images, icons, progress bar. I mean, all these alerts, followers, things like that, obviously things you're going to want to have. Labels, recent followers, things like that. This is just the big features of the overlay. You can add multiple times. Okay. So for the sake of that, if you wanted to add a follower alert, this right here will pop up if, as I do not have Twitch account linked, but it is linked to my mixer. All I have to do is change that. It's come over here. It's like mixer. That goes away. Okay. Just a few little features that they have. Well, that didn't save, but anyway, you get the point. Move little things around here. Okay. You come up here to your settings. This is where you'll find your overlay URL. Okay. Services. Okay, and over here, when you click the tipping tab, that's how you set up your PayPal to be tipped uh, through donations and things like that. Okay. Now, once you're done, you're going to save the URL. Come over here to the launch the test center. The test center is how you look at your little creation. I have an accident. And uh, test things. Uh, follower, test tip, that kind of thing. Okay, once it's to your liking, you're going to want to hit launch, copy, overlay URL. So once you've done all that, you're going to come over here, you're going to go to add source, browser, okay, sit here and create the dimensions you're going to use, paste the URL, and here's your overlay. 
when somebody follows, tips, hosts, whatever, it'll all pop up in wherever you decided to put the uh, alert. The reason you don't see the bottom thing is that this is set to 720, and I forgot to set the overlay to 720 inside of player.ming. You do that through your settings. Pretty simple. If you guys enjoyed this video, found it informational, which I hope you did, make sure you drop a like or a follow or a subscription. There we go. And if you, you can check out my live streams over at mixer.com forward slash groovy. Everybody have a fantastic day.